All right, I'm gonna show how to side chain real quick. You're gonna make sure that you have whatever you want side chained on a separate mixer tracks. So here we have the 808 and we have the kick with some effects. And by the way, there's some stuff you can do to make your kick sound better. I just make this look like this here. By pressing these knobs, you can go up and down on the low, high, and medium. Medium is all the frequency in the middle range, so high end is like the high pitch stuff, low end is like where your 808 and kick is. So usually I make the low end a little bit more by also dragging this up instead of being down there. Middle, keep that in the middle. Low, I usually cut a little bit off by putting it down. It usually looks like this. It's like a straight arrow and I just drag it down. It's called the tension, the point tension. Uh, I don't really know the terminology like that, but yeah. If you like hover over it, it says on the top left, point one to two tension. You can make multiple points. If you do something like this, it'll instantly sound loud and then sound quiet. rather than gradually getting louder and being quiet at the start. But since it's a kick and it needs to be on the low end, we do not want the high end to be like high up here or anything. So we bring that down. Soft Clipper also helps. Just mess around with like a lot of settings and find like the best spot for everything. And a trick I learned from another producer for EQ is you could put this on high pass and order steep eight to make it like have this high end and then disappear because this is where the 808 usually is because it's like the very low end and then when like the kick is too deep it clashes versus when it's like perfectly in the middle it sounds better and then you can remove like the middle and the low end so it's not like weird sounding it sounds perfect until like you mess with it a lot and find like the best setting but anyways now how to side chain so your thing is gonna look like this you can have both of these things here you're gonna go onto the kick first. You're gonna have whatever you want to delete the other volume of or have side chained. So you're gonna link, make sure your kick is selected or your 808, you could do reverse too, but then the 808 is gonna mute the kick. So we don't want that. We want the kick to mute the 808 so it sounds like louder. So we're gonna have the kick selected, make sure it's green. Right click and then press side chain to this track. You could do this with melodies too and it'll mute the melody, but in this case we want it to mute the 808. Once you get like more advanced, you could like mute the 808, certain parts of melodies, which I'm gonna show later. And you're gonna wanna bring in the limiter so we can actually side chain because so far it does nothing. All we did is we told this to go here. So it can pop up on the side chain slot here as the first one which you're gonna make sure instead of nothing, it says the first one in comp. So for these settings, I usually turn this down a lot. That's just gonna make it delete the 808 harder. You're gonna turn this up. You're gonna turn this a little bit down, turn this up. And you're gonna see here that this white part is the 808, this blue is the kick. So you can see the kick piercing through and removing the 808. You can even hear it too if you turn up the release and make it last longer. You'll physically see that it's removing more of the 808. Instead of rather having no release, it instantly cuts it out and brings the 808 back. Which also sounds cool. And then you could do stuff like automate this. And then you could have it like gradually or just randomly like turn up a lot. And it'll sound like this. That's a little too much. So you gotta always find like the best spots. See, like that's what I'm basically talking about. But then you could also have like a melody. And you could then, now that you have it linked to the 808, and that sounds fine. See, without the limiter, it just sounds basic. 
But now, like, you can hear that the 808 sounds deeper, and the kick has its own space, too. Now for some more advanced stuff. You can go to this. Make sure the kick is selected. And then go to the melody, side chain to that, too. Get a limiter. And then make sure it's the right one selected. Do the same settings. You can mess around with these two and it'll like change everything. But you can see now the kick is now removing the melody each time the kick hits. I think that explains everything. You gotta like mess around a lot yourself to like learn how what each thing does. Okay, so here we have a project and I'm gonna add a side chain to this kick because it doesn't hit hard enough. <laughs> As you can see, I already sidechained it to the one of the main melody parts, and I automated it to come in at a later part, and I also automated the release time. But first, before we get into any of that, let me show you how to first add any type of side chain. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have whatever you want side chained on a mixer track thing. And then you're gonna link to whatever you want to have side chained or like muted, I guess, or affected, if that makes sense. So you're gonna go here, right click, side chain to this track and now it's gonna do nothing until we add a limiter and tell it to side chain you're gonna go here and then you're gonna tell it side chain the first one that we just linked if you have like a bunch of side chains it's gonna be like two three four so you got to figure out which is which but since there's only one we got that down easily now, all these settings here, you got to like mess with a lot to figure out what they do. But usually, like I instantly turn this down a lot, turn these two up a little bit. And then this one is like how long the side chain itself lasts. This one is uh, how long it takes to start. As you can see, you can also see the side chain itself right there. Like this is the kick and it is uh, piercing. How do I explain this? I don't know. It's just like removing the audio of the 808 while the kick plays. So like it sounds more cooler. I don't know. Like, look. Let's see, you can increase the release time to have it have like more delay. Yeah. Versus like this, which has no delay, it just like instantly hits and like fades away instantly. So I like to automate this a lot. You can make like a bunch of crazy stuff by creating automation clips. And then you could have it start small. You could have it just like randomly. You, you could be just do whatever you want. Make some cool. So you can like literally hear the 808 like gradually disappear. This other side chain over here, when it starts, it removes the melody of this part, but this melody is split into two different things. So like the background still plays. And then I added another extra melody in to basically like fill in the space of like nothing. But it starts off as nothing. I have it as doing nothing and then it gradually goes to if you can hear it, if I mute this, I guess, by putting it in different tracks, you can hear it disappear. 
rather than just like playing normally. It's, it just sounds cool. And then I have this and this other piano and pad, which adds like, I guess, texture or something. <laughs> For this part, the side chain comes back and you can't hear the main melody, but if I remove it, you can hear it. See? But it's like, you gotta mess with all the settings to find like the perfect spot for all this. And you could like link any side chain to like any part. So like I have the kick linked to the 808 now and the melody right here main melody uh i don't know if there's anything else i need to explain oh yeah you could also use maximus if you find like the best settings soft clipper is good and like do this with your eq put it to high pass steep eight mess around with it while listening to like the kick so like you can find the best spot to make sure it doesn't sound like weak i didn't add anything to the 808 that it like already normally sounded good all right i think i explained it pretty well i let me know if you have any other questions too